Hey everybody and welcome to another how-to video on Destiny 2. Now I would like to say thank you um, for all the support on my last two how-to videos. My how to get free raid loot and my Whisper of the Worm video. They did really good so thank you so I thought I would do another one. Now I'm probably going to end up starting a series on how to get some of the exotic quests done because there are a lot of new people to Destiny 2. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for that, and if this video does help you, please leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. It is always really nice to see people's comments. Um, yeah, and if you have a friend who needs help with this, link them this video, because that, that could help me out a lot, and uh, let's just jump right into this. Alright, so your first step is going to be jumping up into Gambit and getting hand cannon kills. Now you can kill players and AIs used to be a lot more difficult than that but they changed it so all you gotta do is kill AIs and players now if you're gonna strictly kill AIs I would recommend running the trust because the trust hand cannons got a high rate of fire low recoil makes this all really easy to get done um, depending on how you play if you don't have the trust then I'd use the Duke MK44 that's also a really good hand cannon for this um, once when you get that done your next step is going to be getting 250 kills with a hand cannon inside of strikes now it's not going to be that bad if you run with friends um, but if you're a solo player like me um, this is going to take you about four or five games but if you do have friends this could take you three games because all you got to do is be like hey let me get my hand cannon kills and it'll make your life so much easier so I do recommend jumping up in this with a fire team it will make it so much easier on you now once when you do get this quest step done because it's gonna take you a minute to get it done if you're a solo player your next quest step might be a little bit more difficult depending on how you play in the crucible you need 25 precision kills with a hand cannon in the crucible now again I recommend the trust if you don't have the Duke or something that does a lot of damage um, I got this done in three games because I got pretty lucky with this uh, your next quest step is gonna be getting caches on some of the planets um, I will show you where all of these caches are um, what planets you gotta go to, where you need to spawn in at, and I'll catch you when I need to start explaining some more stuff.
Alright guys, now the next step is to do the Ace in the Hole mission on Titan. Um, you're pretty much done after this mission. There are going to be enemies in this mission, just so you know. Um, I went through and cleared them all out before I recorded this. Right here, where I'm shooting at, there's going to be a chest. I picked it up on accident out of instinct. I was like, ooh, a chest, and I opened it because I'm stupid. Um, so I am going to run through, show you where all of the chests are. And uh, these chests are really cool. They uh, contain some voice recordings of Cade and uh, their wills. So these are really cool. I'll let you guys listen to these for yourself. Um, I'm not going to play the background noise when he's talking and stuff. I'm just going to play the music and yeah, I'll catch you towards the end of the video.
all right man right there that is pretty much the last step of the ace of spades now this quest may have been long but it is a really good crucible gun all you got to do is go talk to banshee just go to the tower and go get your ace of spades now this thing is a killer in the crucible if you don't have it and you play a lot of crucible you've noticed that people just slay with this thing so thank you for watching please check out my channel leave a like and, and a comment i really like to read your guys's comments and till the next one peace